you know, we've been recognized that we have world-class environmental laws. But I guess a problem that we have is the enforcement of these laws, uh, the implementation of these laws. So, uh, environmental law takes the least priority when it comes to implementation. We are great crafters of environmental law, but the law is not taken seriously. So our, our strength as environmental lawyers is really to use the law as a tool to change behaviors, not just of citizens, but of political authorities. You see it in some of the participants who are our students and who are now volunteering to be a defender of Mother Nature. But, but we had to craft creative ways. Like, you cannot teach environmental law just by using books. So what we did in the visit to the landfill yesterday, we had that uh, field activity, and our students were able to take pictures, make observations, and which we use as basis to file a notice to sue, and in fact sued two officials for their failure to implement the law. This gave them, the students, a sense of fulfillment that they were already doing something while on a journey to become lawyers. I wanted to share this to the PNP. So in, in the event that they have training, I, I would like to include one of the subjects of the training is implementation of environmental laws. So ang hawak namin is region-wide police officers. Eh. So every time they have a training, I would propose that uh, one of the subjects must be implementation of environmental laws. And another thing that I think would be very valuable for this is creating that network of environmental law professors because I've, I've been we've been trying to attempt that for the last for the past five years but it never happened because you know we don't have the resources you know we did have the the linkages from the different institutions you know it gave me the opportunity to see that you know there are these different institutions that I can easily call on well there's a lot of benefit that the program offers one of it is that the class mix is pretty good you have judges at different levels you have law professors from all over the country and we get the benefit of hearing about their experiences, whether in the classroom or litigating environmental cases. So under this uh, ADB TTT project, where you develop environmental law champions, there's a variety of methodologies that are actually conveyed and discussed. And imagine if you have environmental law clinics where you can mobilize uh, environmental law students to actually provide assistance to an indigenous people's community giving them information about their rights and remedies, that contributes to empowerment. So, as a teacher, you should really contribute to inspiring your students because we're getting old and we need to build a constituency. We need to consider future generations. And therefore, you need future generations of environmental law champions because the poor communities need help and they don't know where to go. If government is not able to do its job with all due respect, then I think civil society, the academic institutions like the universities can do its share.